What is the crack, lads? Welcome back to another player pack review. Today we're taking a look at the American League uh, selection that is here, as you can see there, the player of the season, MLSPA. So there's some good players in here. A lot of people have been asking me to do this one, so I am getting straight on it. You've got 11 uh, players in this that you can max out. There's no limit on them. You can just get the 11 of them if you want to. And they're different than the nominating contracts, as you see here. So yeah, we've got a couple to go through here. These are all the max levels, so you don't need any trainer points. You don't need to train them up or do any progression or play with them or anything like that. They're good. They're ready to go. All players also have team play style proficiency set at 90. Um, and we're going to go through the players here individually and then talk about who my favorite three would be if I was going to be... Uh, recommending somebody to get so we're going to start with um lord of the rings author J.R.R. tolkien at the back here left back this guy's got fairly good speed very good um dribbling for a left back he can play left mid as well but that's obviously his, not his primary position he does not have uh pinpoint crossing which is a bit of an issue with his player skills and he does have standard form which because of this league and it's because of the end of the season this form is probably going to be at sea the whole time that's probably the biggest issue with these american league player of the season pack uh players because you know you're not going to be able to train them up you're not going to be able to improve their cards in any which way um so yeah as a left back he's not the worst but there's better players on him for like 30,000 gp we've also got acosta this guy now is a bit of an intriguing one right his speed and his kicking power let him down if you want to be shooting with him and also his curl lets him down but his ball control his passing everything is above board for an amf his aggression is quite nice he's also got a, a captaincy one touch pass long range curler double touch so he's a good player man as, as a guy in the hole um again you shouldn't really be looking above you know somebody like pedri if you're looking to play this type of role because pedri will you know obliterate him stats wise but if you are looking for something different and you are an american uh, league player or a fan you I mean he's definitely worthy of getting in your squad we've also got chicarito uh hernandez himself the manchester united ex player he's got super sub so he's that makes him worth it alone he doesn't have unwavering form i would like to have seen that i know he's a bit older now but the Mexican fox in the box can still damage teams. And I would like, I think I'm going to get him, lads. Genuinely, I think I'm actually going to try and get him. Um, I would like, if he was nominating contract, I would get him straight off the rip because his speed and acceleration isn't really what you're looking at here. You're looking at his uh, finishing and his super sub because super sub will give a boost to everything when you bring him on in the second half and his offensive awareness, right? If a striker does not have. 90 plus speed or maybe 85 plus acceleration and 85 plus speed um you need to look at offensive awareness so speed isn't everything uh, we've also got blake uh i think he's playing or is he where is he from actually oh no 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 he's not sorry lads i'm confusing him just your average keeper 86 reflexes isn't too bad he's fairly tall but there are better keepers out there so yeah i wouldn't really you know put him into the squad arango we've got him as a center forward 81 offensive awareness lets his card down i think here he does have outside curler and uh 79 curl um first time shot true pass and he's, he's a bit of a, a kind of a ball playing center forward he's not going to be running gun turn and shoot uh he does have unwavering form though which brings this card up slightly i would have liked to seen a couple of more attributes into his acceleration just to make him a little bit viable to use ferreira is kind of the opposite of him then right they're very similar players but this guy's got 92 speed and 80 acceleration so his offensive awareness does let him down but you can kind of turn and run with this guy quite a lot he also has track back so you need to take that off if you do want to have him you know staying up you need to keep counter target on standard form as well and 82 finishing but he's got nice balance and nice stamina so a very decent card as well moving on to the top li list here we've got callens who plays for new york this guy again is very very decent as a center back he's got 82 awareness he's not the tallest but he's not the smallest um aggression is quite high physical contact is high heading is quite good as well he doesn't have blocker but he does have interception and he does have standard form so kind of your run of the mill center back we've also got drusi here if i'm pronouncing that wrong let me know in the comments pronunciation please ball control 84 dribbling 84 80 finishing 84 acceleration not bad for a left winger but not really amazing either uh he also does not have crossing he's not really able to be crossing the ball in so he's too slow for an outright winger and i don't think he has enough stats to play him as the left mid now you could play him up front and he wouldn't be too bad either but he's a little bit small and his finishing lets him down a slight bit compared to others in this list we've got renoso 
This guy, a very, very good player as well. He's kind of similar to most att attacking midfielders in the game. You've got all the player skills that you could possibly want. No look pass, true passing. He doesn't have first time pass, which I thought would be kind of there. Um, or first time shot even. But he does have nice curling uh, stat. Ball control, dribbling and acceleration with balance is quite high as well. And then we've got Mihailovic. This guy is uh, quite decent as well. He's very similar. I mean, there's a lot of players very similar on this. We've got like what? One, two, uh, three AMFs, four AMFs there that are very similar. And then you've also got a couple of strikers that are very similar as well. So this guy does have standard form as well. Uh, but he does have pinpoint crossing and long ball expert, as you can see there. First time shot, one touch pass, true pass and weighted pass and low lofted pass. So he's an exceptional passer. Whatever lets him down stat-wise, he's going to have it with the player skills and the player ID is going to come into it as well. And we've last but not least got the German Mukhtar, who, as far as I know, he's been fairly good this year. Um, I don't really watch too much American football or the MLS, I'll be honest with you, but from editing and stuff, I know he was one of the better players there uh, this year. So yeah, I mean, a very, very good player. You can see the stats there. The one thing I like about this caravan is the amount of player skills he has. Like as an AMF, you need to be a wide range in player. You need to have stats that come out, you know, in every way, right? You need to be a good passer. You need to be a good dribbler, but you also need good balance and good acceleration. Like if you are playing an AMF, I'm actually going to be doing a video. Um, it should be up by the time this goes live where I'm kind of comparing the different midfields that you need to have because a lot of people sleep on midfield. They, you know, they play a formation that's 5-2-3, but they don't really have a midfield that's like, um, you know, comparable to having like a three-man midfield. And you can do it if you pick the right players. Like Goretzka is a box-to-box. -box. He's just a pure engine man. You're not going to get brilliant passing with him. You're not going to get brilliant shooting with him. But you're going to get kind of everything rolled in one. And Mukhtar is kind of that AMF. He's got ball control. He's got passing. He's got speed. He's got acceleration. His balance is exceptional. His set piece taken is really, really good. Plus, he's got stamina. And whatever weakness he has in his stats, he's got the player skills like true pass and weighted pass and dip and shot long range shooting and then dribble stats scissors faint and flip flap it's a very very good card so yeah that's that is it for there i would say if you were if you are going spinning in this obviously it's a random one here um there's 11 players you can clear it and get every single player if you so wish and have a team there um you know you're going to have a team with like what four strikers um or four AMFs, three strikers, a goalie, a left winger and a left back and a centre back. So good luck. Good luck with that squad. But you can obviously top it up with different players if you wanted to have an all-American MLS team. Um, I would say that the picks of them there for me are probably Chikorita. Chikorito, um, I would probably say Arango as well is a very decent player. He's got a lot of really nice player skills and uh, unwavering form. And then I would say probably Mukhtar as well. They're probably the three ones that I would recommend if you do spin them definitely pop them in and see what they look like because lads don't get too you know obsessed with players overalls you know find a player that works for you and uh, and use him you know what i mean like if you had a player like neymar or messi and you can't use him then there's no point in being 100 overall so that's my advice to you guys but yeah we'll be back quite soon with another player review we've one left to do and i think that's the turkish league until next time lads i will talk to you later don't forget to subscribe peace